Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to talk to you quickly a little bit about pruning the bottom of your tomatoes, but more importantly what yellow leaves mean or, or what kind of clues do they give you that you might have something going on in your garden. You can see with this tomato from the bottom where the soil is all the way up to the first line of leaves, I have about a foot, maybe 16 inches of a gap. I do that to create a splash barrier so when it rains or you water and it hits the soil, lots of spores or fungus kind of stay in the soil so it doesn't splash up, get onto the bottom of your plant and then take hold and spread. We've had a lot of rain here in the last last week and a lot of times when you have a lot of rain the bottom of your leaves start to yellowing, start to yellow and you also start noticing different patterns on your leaves. I want to show you what some of these patterns mean and you know some of them you need to worry a little bit more about, some of them you don't really need to worry. If you look at this leaf here that I just took off you see a leaf that's pretty beat up, it's browning, it's yellow. This kind of pattern isn't really something to worry about, it's just really a leaf dying out. And you can see it up here too, kind of looks the same. Just drying leaves, yellowing. You can take a look at this leaf, you see more spotting, brown spots, that's just a leaf dying out, there's no yellow ring around it. And basically for these you just prune them off, either pluck the leaf off or take the whole branch off. When you start noticing circles on your leaves, here's a good example, where it's brown concentric rings, that's just uh, circles within circles and you can see it when you uh, have the leaf and you look close. But when you start getting the brown circles and then a yellow pattern around it, you might be concerned that it's some sort of fungus taking hold. There's a good example right there, the yellow ring around the brown circle. And you still want to do the same thing. When you see the brown rings, remove that leaf right away. Don't leave it on your plant. If it is a fungus, you're removing it so that it can't produce spores and spread to other leaves. You also want to spray your tomato at that point with some antifungal. I use one tablespoon of baking soda per gallon of water, spray the plant down, and you know, you hope for the best. But you're going to see a lot of yellow leaves and the biggest, I guess, yellowing that you want to be concerned about is when you get circle patterns like this. Where again, just to review, it's a brown circle, you have concentric rings inside, and then around the outside of the circle, you have a yellow ring. It's not a point to panic, just remove the leaf, remove the branch, spray your tomato down with an antifungal and you just hope for the best. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.